Welcome back, fan gang. Today we're going to be opening up the what is this thing called again? First partner accessory bundle. At first glance, this thing does look like it comes with Pokemon cards in it. You would think that. It says Pokemon trading card game right on there. Um, but what you will find is that there are no Pokemon cards inside of this box. We just have some accessories. So I don't know if this was supposed to come out at the same time as the other first partner products that were coming out maybe early 2021 or no, maybe early 2022 actually this seems like it was supposed to come out with that but was maybe delayed it's got all of our starter pokemon on here it even has the same sort of like white vibe that those packs had but this is a completely different product but we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what's actually inside of it that way you guys can know before uh heading into the store and picking one up um right here we have our box this feels just like an etb just way bigger let's see if we can um slide this top off this is not coming off easy we've got some silhouettes of the pokemon there okay so that's pretty cool some nice little uh, shadows of the Pokemon. Um, and then we have in here what looks to be a deck box. I can already tell there's something in here. So that must be sleeves of some kind, maybe dividers. Let's see what we have. Boom. Okay, there we have our deck box. I will say the design of this is actually pretty, um, pretty nice. I don't know if you could tell that in the footage or not. But there's actually a pretty detailed like gray on white sort of pattern here with all the different energy types. Okay, so it opens this way. That's interesting. So I can honestly say that's probably the first deck box I've ever seen to open this way. I don't play the TCG, like the physical TCG. I do play the online version. Um, so maybe I'm just not used to this type of deck box, but that's that's a seems a little bit weird to me. We do have a divider in here, but we only have one divider. And the sleeves are a very similar pattern to the, uh, the box here. So those are, those are pretty standard. I'll take one out so you guys can see. There we go. So the backings uh, might look like these are silver, like a lot of the uh, Sword and Shield sets that have been coming out, the sleeves for those. These are actually gray. This is just a solid gray. This is not metallic. I will say though that these are a gloss finish. So this is not like the ones that you would get in an ETB that have that matte finish. This is an Ultra Pro product, not a Pokemon product. So this actually has gloss. I've really been liking the Ultra Pro um, deck sleeves a lot lately. I've actually been using them for some of my higher end cards instead of penny sleeves Just because they are a lot more sturdy and do a better job of protecting So I'll stick these back in here And we have our play mat. That's everything that comes in this box. I will say this play mat is pretty nice uh, I'll get my head out of the way here so you guys can actually see what this looks like um, That's pretty sick. I would have to zoom out a tiny bit to show the full thing But you get the idea nice rubberized backing for grip and that is pretty much it. Other than that, you just get the box that you can use for card storage. I will take a quick look at that to see what we can fit in it. Single card right here. You can see this fits in here with a lot of extra space, probably more than an ETB. Yeah, top loader fits in there perfectly. Probably means card savers, yeah, regular card saver ones are not gonna fit in this box. So they probably wouldn't fit height wise anyway. If you wanted to put the lid on it, it would definitely not work. But like I said, the top loaders do fit in here perfectly, height-wise as well. Probably would have passed on this if it wasn't for me making this video. But I hope you thought this video was helpful, and I will see you in the next one. As always, happy haunting. Peace.